Okay, it's been a while, but we finally got a city where the traffic is so bad. It is backed up right to the edge of the map. Look at that. Look at that. And it heads off into the distance into the city. Oh my goodness me. This one is terrible. This map was sent in by Mr. Six, I think it was, if I remember correctly. And the city is called Sixton. Uh, let's carry on down here and see what we can find. Lovely countryside. While you're stuck in this traffic, you can enjoy the lovely trees and everything. Oh, this is the longest tailback ever in the history of tailbacks. And the trains as well, you probably noticed on the line over here. Also backed up all the way. And look at this. Oh my goodness, it's like backed up through here, come to a junction at the beginning, whoop, backed up through there, backed up through here, through there, through everywhere. I mean, it is just all backed up. You've used Traffic Manager as well, you've done all sorts of things, but we need to do a lot of fixing. This is looking pretty bad. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> and it keeps going. Oh, you've got a nice dam area over here i didn't see very nice oh look at that and the water running down oh i'm liking that that is really good and it comes out the other side and this is heading out the city the other way given time this would also back up all the way it's not quite there yet but yeah that is pretty horrendous let's just take an overview look at the cities it's not too big uh, it's about seventy-five thousand population uh, before i started letting the city run to see what would happen and it is just chock-a-block absolutely everywhere so where do we start now sometimes i'll get comments from people saying you've got to follow the traffic to see where it is all backing up from and but oh, when it's this bad i mean it's just not backing up from one place is it <laughs> it's just backing up from everywhere um you've got an ending here which i'm assuming at some point you're gonna use to build over here just a suggestion if you're gonna do that just connect these two bits together because it just means let me select that it just means they're gonna have somewhere to turn around if they want to there we go and they might you might find that people start using that uh, a little bit um right some things that jump out to me first of all is junctions too close together so you've got this junction in the middle here this junction these roundabout this is all what will happen is these guys are coming on i think you've got one node in the middle here yeah you've got one node there where they can change let's just budge that along a bit and then they're coming off again um you do have some lane mathematics three lanes uh you've counted that as one going off so then two going straight on, two back on. I don't like these double lane ones here. You don't need that. Uh, let me just change that while we're here. So just have that as one lane coming off there. And that will sort out your lane arrows as well. It gives you dedicated lane arrow. That one, that one. And then these two lanes go into two, which is fine. Actually, it goes into three. You've got like another one coming around here, which you've probably done because this is so bad. There we go. We'll keep this as two lanes. I'm just going to do that there. So we get a dedicated turning lane. Yeah, and then we can also do the same for this one here. Make it one lane coming down. Because the idea is what, what people sort of tend to do is they think, oh, there's so much traffic, I'll make it two lanes. Don't do two lanes unless you need two lanes. That is, that is what you want to avoid doing. And then here... What have we got? We've got one node here. So they're coming in and then they're having to switch super quick. So you've got two plus one. Let's just change this one down here to three. And then you've got this one going down to two. So as long as you get the lanes right and the traffic moves nicely. There we go. Look. And then you've got that one coming back on. It can go back to three again. Which I think you've got four along there. Yeah, there we go. So that will work a little bit better. Keep people moving. Uh, this you've got going into two lanes. That's fine. Look at that already. Already now we've got dedicated lanes for different things. Already they start moving. Down here they're going to get in each other's way a teeny tiny bit. So let's carry on with the lane maths down here. Uh, three. So that can be three. And then we've got this one up here only needs to be one. And then at the end we can change it to two. So we've got the turn in there and the turn in there. But coming straight off, keep it as one. So then this three goes down to two, and, we, and it automatically gives us this dedicated turning lane. Oh, it works out so well. And then going down here, and um, we've gone down to two, and then you've got one coming off 
and you've gone back up to three again. I mean, it doesn't matter if you go up. And then also what you could do is add in a three. I was just trying to give that a dedicated turning lane. But I guess if we do this and do control click, now we get a dedicated turning lane. So, it's, you know, it's okay to spread out like that. And then spread back out to... Nah, this needs to be two, doesn't it? <laughs> this definitely needs to be two because we've got a lane coming on at the other side. There we go. One plus two, back to three. And then we got the turnaround bit. Well, let's go back up the other way and see. So three minus one. Watch that lane there. It's doing straight on and right. Bing. Now it's only doing right. So we've got dedicated turning lanes. I don't think you need this one here. I'm taking that off. We, we just don't need that. That's a bit odd. So that's down to two. Oh, I see. That's what it is. You haven't got this one joining back up here again. To there and then to there. That is like the worst junction ever. Good. There we go. So now they can go up there if they want. We've got a dedicated turning lane for down there. And that can join back onto this road like it should do, which is good. Do we have a node in between there? We don't. So I'm just going to add another little node uh, into there. Just so they've got somewhere to change lanes before we come off here. There we go. So two plus one, back to three. Then you've got a dedicated turn the lane for here. The two goes straight on. Two plus one, this should go back to three again. So let's grab that. Three, three, and three. This up here only needs to be one. There we go. So three, and you've got now, yeah, three plus another one. That should make this four. And I think we will make that four because we've got another turning off of here. Or shall we? Or shall we? No. Let's leave that at three. And we'll see how busy this gets down there. We may change it to four. Because what I want is this down to two again when one goes off. And then one comes back on back to three. One goes on back to two. Plus one. This should now go back to three. And that's going back out of the city. Yeah. Okay. There we go. What are we at? 19%. Fantastic. And then we then, of course, need to get our merging sorted out as well. Look at that. They're not... Okay, we need... Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Why have that and this? Because that they can... Have you set up some sort of lane turning thing there? No and no. So they could go both ways there and not have this. So let's just get rid of that. Let's just make the end piece here. Two lanes. So now they can turn or go straight on. And here, this needs to go down to two. So we've got three minus one down to two. Plus one back to three but then this doesn't you know that that is far too close to all of that so that's going to come away from there that's going to go back to three what i'll probably do is go along this highway and i'll uh sort out all these rows that might be too close to each other and then this one here that's coming off can just come off a little bit further along so if we move this out a bit like that let's just turn that around there we go yeah so this this will then go down to two that's what i was thinking there we go and then you split off one lane there, one lane straight on. So you do have some of the maths. And then this should then go back to two, which it does. Then it should go back to three, which it does. Then one goes off back down to two. One back on back to three. And I think we're back to where we were before. Right. Take a deep breath. Have a sip of tea. Then we need to do some lane connectors to make sure this all merges correctly. And also, just so you know, we have despawning disabled despawning is currently disabled which means that's why you get so many cars in the city so yeah quick sip of tea one second and i'm going to do a save as well as i've noticed it's not saving okay so just following this highway along here uh, we're okay where the roads come off but every time one merges on we want to just make sure that we give these guys half a chance so they're not like whacking into each other so this is where your lane mathematics really pays off uh, if you're playing in vanilla up to this point you could do everything we've done if you're playing in uh on your pc and you've got the traffic manager mod tmpe down here i've got the labs version because that's what you had on this city um now we can add in the lane connectors so that's going to branch off these are gonna so this is like a roundabout here so let's use this tool for the roundabout we're going to do if we look at the hover over i'm going to do Control shift and click to set up quickly the priorities there we go so every single one coming on is now give way. And then we want to just quickly look at this and make sure that the end of the block junction is okay for the ones going around the roundabout, but not for the ones coming on to the roundabout. That is something you can do when there's loads of traffic like this, just to keep your roundabouts moving. Once your traffic dies down, it really doesn't matter, to be honest. You can, you can turn that off again. Uh, okay, you've got that going into that lane. Well, let's also add this one into that lane. 
And then rounds here, you've done your merging. That's good. Going off is fine. You're merging over here. Look, you can see they're diving in and out. This is going to be a problem because this is all really close together. So I'll tell you what, we've only got like one node there. I use the move it modern hover over. You've got one node there. I'm going to move this. And then we're going to add another node in here and just draw that out from there and then delete it again. So now we've got this node and that node. So they've got double the space um, for changing lanes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, you go there. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to delete all of that. I believe if I do, it's control S now. <gasps> it automatically does it. Let's just pause the game. Before, the only way we could do this, uh, it was shift S before. Now it's control S and it would only do it on a straight through. Now it will do it on these uh, not straight through junctions. Control S and it's done. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, people, for the work on traffic manager. Okay, so I'm not going to bother about those two nodes at the minute. Uh, coming off's okay. Moving down here. They're doing a bit of hawky walky lane switching right there. Ah, oh, there's an extra node hidden in there. That's why. I've moved this one up too close. Let's move that down to there. Uh, where they come in down... Oh, this is going to speed things up. Select the nodes. Control S. Bash. Done. So then this is two. This is going to merge. Control S. Yeah. This is all fine. Then they turn back. Let's go the other way. So going off there is all right. We've got this roundabout. So we're going to select that one. Control, shift, click. There we go. Lots of things added in there. So everybody coming on to give way. Nice. And then we're just going to check this one. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. You've got an extra one coming in there. That's going out, so that's fine. That's okay. Good. That's all set up. Uh, that one's fine. There we go. So now we're back on the highway. You've got another merge point here. Lanes, control S. Oh, I love that. That is fantastic. Down here, another big merge point here. Look at this. And again, we've got coming on, going off. Let's just check how many nodes we've got. One node here again. So let's just move that node over. I want this to be a node here. Whoops. Destroyed your house. My apologies. There we go. We've got two nodes now. So just to give them a fighting chance for changing lanes. And we're going to do this one. Control S. <laughs> Hello? Control S. Now, I'm what, oh, I see. I was just going to say, I wonder what would happen if I tried to do Control S and there wasn't enough lanes. And it's shown me here. We've got three and one. So it shouldn't... Whoops, that was me pressing the wrong button. Shouldn't this one be two? No, two plus one is three. This one here should be four. And you know what? Actually, four lanes would be good here because we've got this going off here. Uh, that'll now match up. That'll go off. This comes down here. Control S. Yeah. And then this down here... We've got this one lane doing two things, but I'm hoping that's not going to get too busy. And then I think we're heading out of the city. Good. Okay. So that is that main road done, hopefully. What are we at? 25% is going up. Losing... Oh, we're gaining people again, which is good. Still lots of traffic backing up. Well, there's going to be all sorts of other things to look at here, isn't there? So <laughs> let's find some stuff to fix. Okay, so something else I normally like to check early on uh, is the mass transit that you've got. Let us take a look. So your buses are doing... Oh, you've got lots of buses set up. They're, they're chunching along. Oh, my goodness. So many buses. So, 82 passengers with 20... Let's just sort this by how many vehicles you've got. 41 vehicles... So you will have a ton of empty buses here. Oh my goodness. That is something I'm going to go through and adjust how many buses you've got on your lines. Uh, we'll wait for the traffic to die down to see whether more people want to use them first. Uh, your metro has got zero passengers. Now this is something I noticed that you seem to have a problem with your metro and I think that is the problem there. You have right angles all over the place uh, in your metro and since the Sunset Harbour updates... You can no longer have right angles like this and expect a train to get through. Um, so something like that would work much better. Um, yeah, so that might mean we've got to just basically go through and check all of your metro lines. We're going to come across a load of trains in a minute, just like that there. I don't think they're going to get around that. Let's just move this up a bit. And this here, look, oh, here we go. Look, we're finding all the trains. 
So there's a load of them stuck here at that station. I'm looking at this angle here. Let's just move some of these out a bit. And I reckon with a bit of finagling, look. Yeah, they're not getting around that corner. I reckon with a bit of finagling, we can get rid of all the right angles and get your metro going again. So I'm going to fiddle with this for a while. And I'll be back with you. Yeah, your main problem seems to be tunnels coming out of a station. This one here was going straight across. So I've just sort of moved it up a bit. And now the trains can come and go. And things are starting to move again. And then this train here just goes to disprove the fact that you don't... <laughs> you can't have right angles by doing that. I mean, what the heck is going on there? How the heck did he get out of that? That is absolutely... That is absolutely nuts. We, did, we just don't even need that one going over there, do we? Oh, I'm going to delete some of these. <laughs> it's brilliant. Here he goes. Oh, that's idiotic. Okay, I've pretty much gone through all of your lines and, yeah, sorted out all the hiccups and things. I know you've got all your metro set at 200% and stuff like that. So I'm going to just go through and set all those... Uh, just to 100% for now, because there's far too many metros on the line. So that is just causing problems as well. Now, next on the list, as always, is roundabouts. Uh, do you have your roundabouts set up correctly? It looks like you do, apart from this one here, the end of the block junction, which would have been fine until all your traffic got super super busy i'm gonna go through and just check some of the this one's not too busy but i'm gonna change it anyway just for now uh, just for now some of these roundabouts are quite close to each other as well which could be an issue uh, let's come along here that one's like yeah these ones seem okay which is good this one isn't i can tell already just by looking at the cars there we go there we go that one's okay want to keep that moving again this one isn't okay as soon as you change that things will start moving instantly that's not too busy so not too fast see it's not too busy just leave it as it is it doesn't matter at all um, that's okay, that's okay. These guys are all merging in down here. This is all a bit of a hawky-walky mess, isn't it? Yeah, let's turn that one off. That one off. Right, so they're coming up there, and they're trying to merge. Oh, this is far too close together. Oh, this junction. <laughs> okay, this is all too close together. Coming on, going off, far too close together. Coming down here. I don't even know what this is for. Okay, but <laughs> I don't understand what this is for. I'm, I'm loath to delete it because I'm wondering whether I'm just missing something here. And this bit here we need to just sort. So let's just grab the Move It mod. Give these guys half a chance with a bit more room. So now we should have space to add an extra node in here. We've got no nodes at all between here and here. No, no nodes. That one and that one. Did that actually connect? No, it didn't. I don't think it did. Let's try that one again. There, there we go, and then delete that. And we should have two nodes. Nodes, and only one node again! Alright, okay, one node it is then. You'll have to just make do. I don't care anymore. There we go, control S, that's fine. So they will get in there, change lane, and then hopefully down here... What is going on with this car? He's just like blocking everybody. You go in. That's it. Excellent. That was just stupid, that was. And then we've got that merging in. So then this here should get a teeny tiny little bit better. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to record that. My phone was ringing. But there we go. Look, it just clicked. <laughs> it just all went. You'll have to believe me. But that's all gone, which means this is all gone, which means I'm not even going to touch that weird hawky balky thing. That Why are these cars going so slow down here? Look. Have you like set up a weird speed limit thing? 30 mile an hour. What? Okay, that can be 100. Why is that so slow? I think that must have been a mistake. Good, everything else is okay. What are we up to? Let's have a look. 50%. Okay, that's not too bad. This doesn't need to have all of this here. Uh, we could get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And then we could turn that into an oblong about just by doing that and by doing that. Oh, doesn't that look much better and then we'll do this here control shift we've got the dedicated turning lanes blah 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 and then we'll look at that coming on coming on coming on that one off there that one's fine that one's fine that one's fine so that should move a lot better uh you've got weird lanes going on there yay there we go good we've got it 
And then that's connecting up to this one. So that's all okay. That's all right. That's all right. We need to look at your trains as well. I did notice. Let's just pause the game and head on out here. The only, I'm going to get outside of this by using the cinematic camera extended. It just lets you get outside. And I'm going to check this node here because this node, by using the Move It mod, I, I don't know whether I'm 100% accurate and right on this, but it always seems to work for me. That if the gap between where they spawn and where they come in isn't the same size as a train, then you're going to have problems. Um, and it always seems that way. So if I move this one all the way down here, let's just move some of these over a bit. Give us some room. Let's get that one. Let's shiftify this one. So now we've got this big long gap here, which should be big enough for these trains to get in and out. Now all these people are going to run down here. <laughs> That's where they want to get picked up. Let's just delete these two trains on the end, which are causing the problems. Yeah, look, this one going out here has got stuck, hasn't it? you got trucks coming in here as well. What? Oh, there we go. It's working now. I don't know what's going on with the trucks there. That is just weird because we've got the truck one down here. Mm. But anyway, now we can see that they're moving. What I never understand about this is it will bring them in on both sides, which means they never get a chance to leave. But you've got such a call for cargo trains that we're probably going to have this going for a while before the ones going out get a chance to go. Any other outside train lines that we could fix that might possibly give us an issue. Oh, everybody's going a bit nuts here. <laughs> I just moved this node over. This is the reason why I sometimes want two nodes in a section like this. We've got one node there. All these are coming in. And then any any that want to change lane have to do it there and they get no other option. If you put another node in like this, and then what I would do is I would use the lanes here and say, look, anybody coming in that wants to move up can go along or up one lane there we go like that and then on this node if you want to change you can go along or down one lane and it just spreads out the lane changing mechanics look see they're doing it here as well there's only one node in the middle here is there yeah uh, you can go along or up and you can go along and you can go along or down and you can go along there we go and when they get out there that's fine and it will just help the lane switching go a bit smoother. See, they're not doing it all at the same node. They'll always pick the first node. There we go. Which spreads that out. That will help this spread out a bit as well because it can keep moving. And overall, it will stop all of that sort of bunching up. Look, we're well, doing it again here between this junk. This is why as well you want to spread out your junctions because you'll have more nodes for things like lane changing. So now I'm having to go through... Uh, yeah, you've got two nodes here. I think we might have put those in ourselves. We're now going to have to go through and do this sort of thing. Okay, so we're solving one problem, but then we're hitting another problem. So these guys are coming down there and just getting charcoal block here because they're all coming into this. Ah, that's what they're doing. So we've got here a cargo train terminal. I need a sip of tea. That's causing this huge, huge backup because these are only at a set speed. And that's then blocking up all of this. How about we try this? One-way road. Coming off of here. Temporary road, obviously. Right, so we're going to take all the businesses off of this roundabout. Because they're just going to slow everything down. We don't want that. We don't want that. This area down here is not an industry area. It is an area for your cargo transfer hub. So let's remove all of that. Uh, this is going to be one way going out. That, so that is just leaving. And coming in is now down here via this other little uh, entrance. So we're going to see how that works. And whether that stops all of this building up. So they can come off. Uh, they can go straight on. They can come around there and they can join here. And these can leave a little bit quicker as well, which should be good. Okay, so I've just spent about 25, 30 minutes going through, first of all, all the roundabouts, making sure they're all set up accurately. And then going through all of the transport options. Some of these vehicles, uh, some of these bus lines had so many vehicles. I mean, even now it's got 23 on that line. It's nuts. I'm just going to drop these down. I've got so many buses. It had like 30 and 40 buses on some of these lines. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So I'm just dropping them all down. And then before I save the game and send it off to you, I'll have another look through and just uh, see if we need any more. And then I've just done the same on the Metro as well. Um, look at that. It's all working nicely now. So I'm going to go through and see if we need to add any more. But I think we're probably uh, looking okay on that. 
Oh, and of course, we've grown. We're up to 75,000 and we're making a profit. Whoa. What about that, eh? So there we go. We made it over 80% traffic movement in the end, which was fantastic. I would certainly suggest putting some more cargo terminals around your city. Spread out that industrial traffic a bit more. As you can see, your city is still very busy, but it is now moving. If you enjoyed this one, hit subscribe. Don't forget before you go, also leave a like as well. And if you want to send in your city, check out the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.